Hi guys, welcome to another video. So today we'll talk about the updates on the three stocks I asked you to buy in 2018. So which uh, the video just posted on February 19th, right? Uh, 600 of you have watched this video. So I uh, I guess that I should do you uh, make uh, you guys an update about uh, for these three stocks. So if you have watched these videos, it's not too long ago, which probably you have been uh, you are already holding these three stocks, three, three stocks already, and in which these stocks are doing pretty good recently. Uh, so we'll give you some updates if you have uh, invested in these uh, three stocks or you haven't, uh, what should you do right now? So uh, the three stocks are, the first one is Facebook. This is the worst already, but it's still doing pretty good because uh, it's all, uh, it's already, the recent price is around 184. So it's around the same price that happened in January and it's still higher than uh, the price in uh, December. Uh, mainly is because uh, many of reasons I've, uh, I suggest you to buy Facebook because I'm not sure two years or three years later, right? But for this year, they are doing payment gateway, uh, cryptocurrency, which I'm not a big fan of. But anyway, they're doing the best to uh, make you pay more money, right? So that that is the reason I asked you to buy it. And also because of the global setback of the of a ridiculous reason because the non-farm payrolls are very good and the inflation is scared and afraid to be high. And then the Fed rate will raise the interest rate. They're all bullish signal. Okay. So we're pan the market is panicked because of the market, the economy is good. That's ridiculous. So that is the right time for you to buy it. If you don't trust me, look at the Nasdaq. It is hitting its already uh, record high again. Okay, again. Okay, please keep on following my channel. I will tell you what kind of noise is out there, so you shouldn't listen. So uh, for me, I can, I could be a of noise, right? But uh, look, uh, you can check whatever I'm whatever I'm talking about and whatever I'm stating should be statistic proven or is mathematically proven okay it's not my feelings okay so facebook is still outperform underperforming the index which is a really pre pretty much a good chance to buy right so uh if any day uh any time it is uh it's not breaking down below 184 that's good enough you should uh buy it and then the first target should be 195 and second target should be 201 okay that's my follow-up or if you think that the market is setting back, which is really unlikely because all the events, uncertainties will happen in March and the market is like that. Whenever the uncertainties are happening and they are not worse than, not worse than what we thought, the market is already bottomed. Okay, that is the key you should you should pick up. It's about anticipation. It's not about the actual result. Okay, so if you still think that is going to set back, okay, fine. You should set a price of around one seventy uh, one seventy one seventy six. That is the uh, kind of a channel uh, 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 a trend line. But I do not think uh, that is a high chance of the Facebook is going back down for you to buy. And the second stock you should buy in two thousand eighteen is Amazon. See. That's ne almost never a setback. It's going up and up, gap up and gap up, right? It's now a staggering $1,600 per share, okay? I've been updating this stock ever since last, no, uh, 2016, end of 2016, right? It's only about $800, $700, right? So right now, it's really boring. The strategy is so boring. Just hold it and forget about it. If you're speculating this stock, fine. You should wait for uh, it comes, it breaks below uh, uh, this this top, uh, the, the peak of this is around one uh, 1498. Okay, if the any closing price is closest below that point, you should consider a cut loss uh, or, or uh, I mean, uh, take profit. But for me, I don't really care. I think better you should wait for 1221. You say, whoa, it's one one thousand six hundred going back to twelve twenty one. Yes, that is how confident I'm to Amazon. But if you're speculating, fine, you can set the price at fourteen ninety eight. Okay, the third stock is Apple. So you can see the Nasdaq is new high again, uh, and this stock is new high again. Uh, you can see currently there uh, is making a pattern of uh, reverse hand and shoulder. So this is the pattern, and is having a strong force and strong movement and closes above this neckline 
So the target is pretty much very, very crazy because the target should be at least 30 more dollars to go up. So around the target should be around $210. So, but if you think that's too far, that's fine. You should, uh, you can set 190 for your first target. The second target should be uh, 210. Okay. That is something that you should consider as long as the market is not, not going back down and uh, the NASDAQ is holding historic high again, it's not coming back. Uh, to 7,100 points, everything should be fine. And fundamentally, you should look at the events that will happen uh, that is hap that are happening in March. For example, the FOMC meeting is probably going to raise interest rate uh, quickly and uh, more than what we thought. And uh, the second thing I can I would concern is the Brexit. But you know, people are really pessimistic. Before things happen, they think of the worst. Okay, so I think um, the chance of the events and the results are worse than what we thought is pretty low. So I think the bottom is seen already. So um, that's my update. So hopefully you can take a good reference of a better preparation for your portfolio. So that a better chance for you to accumulate wealth for this year and uh, easy money uh, for you to spend some time uh, for your hobbies or family. So that's investment. It's not speculation. I'll uh, see you next time. Remember to like, share, and comment, and subscribe to the channel and like my Facebook page. I'll see you next time. Investing me easy.